<laughs> as they say anyways hey guys welcome back again to another video and that different video that of course you are not expecting anyways before we dive right into it hold your pen your paper your calculator your anyone that you can pick because this video we're going to cover for single married divorce in between anyone child you know as usual i like to talk about um general thinking so as i'm saying it you just be picking the word that is relating to your condition or relating to you just be selecting and this one watch it cover for bachelors for masters for phd so everybody's home that we're just gonna be talking about so you're yeah, just gonna be picking it so once i mention um this one is this one write it down this one is this one write this down so just sit with lots attention and people will not shame me uh -huh. so fam welcome to my youtube channel i've said it before um so today's video we're talking about um how much are you likely to spend for study visa uk study visa as you all know as most of you know that uk is one of the nice to call uk second nigeria um, UK, if not, if I love it, you can. So, it's more like second Nigeria, and the thing is, most people they don't even know where to start from, what to do, what to budget, and every other thing. But then, it's no longer news that UK is one of the very expensive you know, countries, you know. Anyways, so that's why I draft out a budget to actually talk about uh, how much you're actually likely to spend for your uk study visa i actually have a video if if you know you want to go and work visa i have a video on my youtube channel where i talked about um total amount of money you need to travel if you're going on a work visa eh, work visa so anything relating to uk share any video relating to uk i'll put in the link in my description box i have a special playlist for it just follow the link just click it until you are looking for a uk you see the video there and if i've not posted it yet you will know that me i'm always a very nice boss so any video you need any video you want me to talk about just leave it in the comment section and of course i will you know try to kineko kineko anyways let's dive right into it if you watch it up the year and you've not subscribed what is your av what is your game what is your game so um this um this amount is not just limited to nigerians or africans it's general um, this thing and at least i try to tailor it to everybody's personality you know let's get started for me that so so now we're going to be talking about the total fees you might likely to spend for your uk study visa or how much should you have in your account before you even think oh should i go uk study visa how much should you think how much should you have in your account so now the first one on our list is when you actually want to look for admission you get in fact where are you going if you don't have admission so the first one is application fee application fee is free everywhere in uk universities is free i don't know if some charges so but you know i used to stay there's some university that needs to reach that but imagine somebody like me now if i'm a university i want i want some application fee uh -huh. no, university they used to call them Igbo. um Ibo inspired children, they like money. But generally, um, application fees for um, UK universities is generally free. It's only Canada that I know that they used to collect application fee and then maybe Ireland or something, but it's always, it's always free, sure. application fee is always free. So the next one you actually have to look at is um, tuition deposit. So when you send your CV, your document to the school and when you apply for cars and everything, so that moment, you're actually not paying anything so the next money you'll be looking at is your tuition deposit like i used to tell you and like i've explained the tuition deposit serves two purposes right one is to actually when you pay to actually help you to secure your space in the university nothing like i, I decor more i decor more nothing like that so if you don't pay your tuition deposit right they will assume that you are not coming and they will give the space to somebody else so if you know that that admission will be logo and most times once they issue your cards to you they will give you like a validity period maybe you should pay uh, your tuition deposit between april 1st april i don't just like using april between these dates to this date and if they don't get it you watch it for fit the admission or they will actually roll you over to the next um to the next session so another purpose that this tuition deposit actually serve for is to actually prove that low to low to low to you can pay 
your tuition fee. So how much is this tuition deposit? The tuition deposit minimum that me have seen no me that I've seen no you you can see something else but you see this is my eyes the one that I've seen because I actually wanted to make a video about um universities that ask for low tuition deposit but you see those universities that used to ask for low tuition deposit be be mindful of them be very mindful of them because sometimes they will just attract you with low tuition deposit no matter what you care right they will give you IBP ah well you will work <clears throat> I know you can work more than 20 hours so is all those one that used to give you cheap dupe yeah, cheap this thing the person yeah, they're just like cutties or devil all oh, this babala where you want to go and do ritual they will tell you don't worry you have money you buy card they will tell you everything they have to do individual you just see so many strange things will be happening they go and meet the baba baba waiting the your corner baba go tell you say hey hey you wait you find money you don't know say this thing so you see all those schools before you pay any to show deposit that is like two thousand pounds right just not that oh, oh, the lock around ask them very well ask them talk to them are you sure that you are asking me to pay two thousand pounds deposit are you sure that when i pay this one this two thousand pounds when i get to uk you not give me ipp swear with your life that you not give me let them swear with their left breast hey do not give you ipp ask those that is in uk they wish they knew this information so that's why i used to tell people don't just jack back because you want to jack back anyway that's how i tell you if i'm from jack back academy you're not supposed to get ot you get don't just jack back because you want to jack back because the tuition fee is cheap if it will make you to wait and calm down for money because do it because hmm, you know say you go feel like say, ah, i'm to live nigeria nigeria is this thing see even if you are living in uk and you're living there as a sweet country <laughs> when pressure is coming from left to right it you will even wish that you're ever in nigeria but no you still wish that you're in uk but the pressure will be too much you'll not be able to focus you know, do you know the type of threat they will be threatening you they'll be threatening you that if you don't pay before so so, so they, they'll report you to home office do you know what that means some universities that are hoodlum, they can even say you are not coming to class. Eh? They can, they will tell them that you, you, are, you are unable to pay your school fees and everything. So, anytime you want to pay tuition deposits, it's not just sending admission letter or anything. When they tell you, okay, pay this also amount for deposit, ask them on who come, sign an agreement, ask them that how is the next instrumental payment to? Are you paying it to maybe two thousand per month to two thousand by week? Don't be, don't be happy, don't have it in your head that mm, you can work twenty hours per week and then the money will come. On. My dear, it's not as easy as you think. It's not as easy. You know, on the internet, everything is sweet. In reality, it's in reality, but not care. Okay, right? One more, but yes, there is more to the highs than city highs. Like, if you even get the thing that you'll be seeing work like this, your body cannot can. So, for you to have peace of mind, to have time to study your book you should not be running kitty kitty kata kata inside uk you understand for one lady dada this tuition deposit you are telling me to pay when am i to pay the next one mm, if your program is one year what is the instrumental condition they should not go and give you ibp to be once you enter uk like this they know that you wait the kobe for the week <clears throat> well are you, before you even eat something say you're begging people in nigeria to send you money and you know what we're not gonna send you because you left us in nigeria so think it wisely okay so do, to show deposit the minimum that i know of that i've come across is two thousand is two thousand pounds some can be three thousand four thousand people can be as high as seven thousand and that's why i said you should ask your school and no matter the deposit that they allow for you tell them to swear with their life and they'll put it into writing the next installment can just sign agreement so that see your boys don't think it's only in Nigeria, they used to use people say, you see UK, they don't even carry gun or anything. They will finish you with paper writing. With paper, you know, say Africans, Nigerians, you would not like to read. Everything, all the things that they will do for you is inside that paper. And you, you just but what do you just sign? That's why their English is very confusing. So tell them to swear with your life, let them say it, oh God, are you going to give me peace of mind to pay my tuition? You're going to make me to run kitty kitty kata kata. To batini ahead. Let it be sure. I know what I'm saying. I'm stressing it now. I am stressing so that when you go to UK, you will sleep with your two eyes open. You will wake up with your two eyes open. You will eat with your not like you should be eating. You will be thinking, hey, I will pay my tuition now. You will be walking, hey, I will pay my tuition. You will be thinking, even you will be on top of room again. You will be thinking, hey, I will pay. You will be on top of one. So that you hmm, okay. Anyway, so tuition deposit from um two thousand pounds upwards depending on the school like i've told you so the next one is your i l i i h s charge immigration health surcharge so this one 
Do you know the essence of this immigration soldier? So I made a video like the only people that is actually exempted for this um ISH surcharge is um people that are going on healthcare visa. But if you're going on student visa, you have to pay it. Um wait, hope I did not forget. So for that tuition deposit, right? I know some people might have difficulty on how to pay their tuition deposit. I made a video on list of banks, Nigerian banks. I don't know about any other country. It's for now, it's only my country, Nigeria. I know about, oh, I'm not wearing green today. I'm dead to wish you that. So I made um, a video about list of banks in Nigeria that you can use to pay your tuition deposit. And that's why I explained earlier that there are some universities that will give you time free that you have to pay this tuition between these ones. So I, I listed a list of banks, Nigerian banks, you can use to pay your tuition deposit that um that when you pay it and when the UK people will receive it, the time limit. So that for example, let's say in your cast now, they say that you should pay your tuition fee between in two weeks. So we have some Nigerian banks that in two days they would have gotten your payment in UK. Some will take three weeks, some will take four months, some will take so I made that explicit video. So depending on the condition that they give you for your um, cash, you know the bank to use. So I don't know which one will be posted for whether this one whether that one, but like I told you, um any video check my UK playlist. If it not see it, that means that's when I'll post next or I posted it. Shall stay subscribed, love or share, and turn on the notification bell to me. Me, I used to post like 10 videos in a day. Stay subscribed. So the immigration um immigration health surcharge um is like um for you to have access to health care, um like health this whether you be sick or not, <laughs> you that's more like um, access to health care. So how much is the immigration surcharge? So for study duration of one year, or they used to call it 12 months or 13 months, so a duration of one year or less, anything. Can you even get study visa for anything less than 12 months? Well, you can't know if you're going on vocational course, but wait, why will you leave if you can go on a vocational course? Eh? If you want to jack by, jack by with your foot chest, it will need a partial jack by. And you know that if you go on a short distance, you cannot work. Any course that is less than eight months, you are not eligible to work. So if you want to collect study visa, collect one year. One year from eight months, nine months, from eight months upwards, you are eligible to work. Anything less than that, you cannot work. So you want to jack up, please jack up with your full chest. You will go jack by half six months. I hope somebody have not lied to you that if you do one six months course now, you use that one to change. You cannot change your duration. Or visa is more like, and the thing is, they'll never give you study visa because study visa is from eight months and above, so it's study visa that they will give you, or visit visa, or they have one special course visa. So, to buy the public course here, open the last lane so you cannot work, you cannot collect public funds, and you know all those things. So, if you want to jump out, jump out with your food chest, mama, she pasha Japan, anyways. So, as I was explaining, the immigration um surcharge you have you pay it for you to have um access to. Um, medical care in the UK. So, any program that is less than 13 months, 12 months, any program that is less than 13 months, you'll be eligible to, eligible to pay 705 pounds. I'll put it on the screen 705 pounds. So, okay, so you'll be eligible to pay 705 pounds. So, legally, any other class can be there, but me. To the best of my knowledge, the only course that I know that is one year duration is masters, masters and PhD. But I think there are some PhD that is two years. I don't know either masters and PhD. That's the one that is eligible for one year study program, and it's only when you get that one that you can get study visa. So any course that is less than one year, your immigration surcharge is seven o five pounds, right? And this seven o five pounds is per person. So just in case you are going with your dependents, maybe you're going with your husband, with your child, with your anything. So that means you, you will pay 705. Your husband will pay 705. Your child too will pay 705. Or the kidney, 705 raised to power TV. No, no raised to power TV, times TV. So imagine you are going with four children. Ah, If you are going with four children and your husband, but you work, so you are going to pay what? 705 times 6. Do you understand that? So keep listening. You know, that's if you are going on one year course. So now if you are going on. I'm coming. This one that is to do like what I did not know. So. If 
you are going on a study duration that is more than one year, maybe like PhD, yeah, maybe like PhD, I think some PhD is two years, I don't know, I don't know. If you are going for a course that is a two years duration, your ISH surcharge, your immigration surcharge is 1175 1175 and per person. So imagine if you are going with you yourself, your husband and your child. That's 1175 1175 1175. So depending on the number of people that you are going to get that, you're gonna multiply it together. Show you what show you all what. So in Tobalo may be many many things. Below, I just want one seven party or quabia times you already do the deal, anyways. So, if you're going for a study duration for up to four years, right? Up to four years, give it four years, your immigration surcharge is 2115 per year. So it's going to be 2115, 2115 per dependent. So depending on how many people is going with you, 2115 per person. So and this 2115, of course, is going to cover for the whole duration. Just like if you're going for a one year course. So one year immigration store charge is 705. If you're going for two years, for that two years, the two years altogether, you are paying, um, if you're going for two years, for two years altogether, you are paying 1175. Um, Pounds. If you're going for up to four years, either BSC or this, in your your immigration surcharge is two one one five for the whole duration of time, not like per year, for the whole duration of time. So the next one is <sighs> the one you have been waiting for. So the next one is proof of fund. Hmm. How much are you to put for fund? So according to gov.uk, hmm, only we pay you have to prove one thousand TV TV four pounds per month for up to nine months. So you have to prove um one thousand. 1000 TV TV for per month for up to four months for courses in London. So, if if you if the course you want to do is actually located in London, your school or anything is located in London, your proof of fund per month is 1000 TV TV for so that means for nine months, though. so that means 1000 TV TV four pounds times nine. But if you are staying outside of London, your own will actually be lesser. I think it's like this thing, I'll be writing it on the screen. So if you are staying, if your course is in London, go, 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 your own proof of fund is 1,034, then you multiply it by 9. Why if your school is outside London, you multiply it by that amount, then that's 9. 9 months. So if you are going with extra family member, like I told you, so per each family member, your proof of fund is 845. So this 8452 is for people that their course is in London. So let's say there is somebody now. He or, your school, he or she, her school is actually in London. So, a proof of fund for herself and touch admission into Velocity School is one TV TV per month times nine. If she's now going with a dependent, that dependent proof of fund will be 845 times nine. If she's going with another extra dependent again, that will be 845 times nine months. So, depending on the number of dependent, you just be multiplying it, but any extra. A family member is 845 pounds. Do you get that? So, if you're actually staying outside um, London, if your um, school is outside London, your own proof of fund is 1002 TV per month for up to nine months. So, if your school is outside London, so that would be 1002 TV pounds per month. So that would be 1,023 times 9 months, right? Then, if you are coming with any extra family member, their own will be 680 pounds per dependent. Then you multiply it by 9. Do you understand it? So, whatever you are doing for yourself, you are doing it for 
your dependent and the number of dependent you are moving with so for if you stay in london um and you are coming with a dependent the only is 845 per month whereas if you stay outside london um for dependent the only is 680 pounds per month and for your information all this money you are to actually have it in your account for at least 28 days before you actually apply for your visa at least okay we do ah we worry at least 28 days before you apply for your visa so invariably if you are the applicant you will unlock and then you have people that want to follow you your husband your children and everything the money has to be in the applicant's account because now they pack up them they go you understand either it should be in your account or it should be in the account but i think the applicant it should actually be in your uh, accounts because the laundry is you that say ah, let's go to uq so it should actually be in your account and should be like at least 28 days before you apply for your visa so the next one is um sorry guys so the next and but not the least is so the next one is visa fee how much is visa fee so visa fee regardless of the dependent or whatever if you're doing standard service you know the standard service actually um you get your visa 15 working days so if you're doing standard service it costs 489 pounds if you are doing priority service um it will cost 489 pounds plus 220 pounds that is 709 pounds so regardless of the type of visa you are doing whether standard whether priority whether student uh, whether standard whether priority whether super priority the normal standard charges is 489 pounds so anyone you decide to now opt for you now add for to, let's rephrase okay let me not even confuse you people if you are applying for standard service right your visa fee is 489 pounds and that one you get your um visa in 15 working days she mean in 15 working days it's not two days it's not two weeks so 15 working days working days are monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday right so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday then under monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday then under monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so that's almost like tv weeks and some some members i don't know if you can count some members is going to count friday as their own working day so my will be one month man i don't know the thing eh, it can come earlier it can come this thing. but then uk used to say if 15 working days have not passed they should not see you in the regular way of their embassy so you can come earlier you one can come later but then in case you are not getting response just be counting 15 days 15 working days yo uh -huh. and then if it's taking time just remove friday from the working day because some members don't used to count friday with their own working days but i don't know for you Kesha. so priority visa if you can wait for that 15 working days you pay 489 pounds then if you want to do it fast fast like you want to get your visa five working days like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday or maybe you get it next monday then you get um you pay 709 pounds then if you want to get your visa to you can own child you want to get it in just 24 hours you pay for super priority visa which is 400 and sorry that's 1445 pounds where, where are you washing to the can i know where i know you are going to spend money but it's good shop i don't know people have money people yes is supposed to prove you 1400 and can you come on oh ah you don't need but you can you come anyways so this visa fee there is no extra fee for um Maybe you're going with family, whether you're going to this thing. So if you're applying for standard, if you're paying 489, your dependent will pay 489. The next person will pay 489. If you're going for super priority visa, um, you will pay 145. Your next person will pay 145. So that's what I say for student visa, anything you are doing for yourself, you are doing for all your family member, except the proof of fund that their own is actually lesser. So any other price, any other fee that you are doing, you are doing it for them. And except application, except to show fee deposit, obviously. Uh, so anything that you are doing for them and everything. So, um,
so far that will be all and of course that's not the requirement of visa but that's the only thing that you actually spend money for so fam i hope with this few point of mine you've been able to draft out how much you will actually use uh, be, be spent for this your japa journey to our second nigeria nigeria headquarter united kingdom so if this video was helpful for you don't forget to give it a thumb up make sure to share with your friends make sure you share with your family make sure to you know do everything and what i want to say i want to see some so guys thanks for watching today's video and of course i'll see my next video thanks for watching bye i wanted to see something anyway i'll see my next video so as you shall move for thumbnail to so, carry that in for me well let me shift the camera like this it's better why is it showing like this Those two are in one. What did you do? Just to give it to you. Oh, wow. I'll see my next video. Thanks for watching. Which video am I shooting next now? I'm tired. This one has what is even standing out talking safe. It's making everything. You know? It's making everything. As you shall see what they hope. So what you like, oh this case so you want she put up was anyways I think if I'm going to UK buy something for me. Shall I to say it gala? Which you make a castle, anything that you can see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Kiki, bye. See you soon.